This PowerPoint is going to take you through the stages of mitosis and the cell cycle. For most of the cell cycle, the cells will be in interphase. During interphase, first of all, the cells will grow. Then the DNA replicates. Then we get further growth and organelle replication. Finally, the cells are ready for mitosis. Mitosis is a relatively short stage of the overall cell cycle and it results in the production of two genetically identical cells. This is a cell in late interphase. You can see that the nuclear membrane is intact and the nucleolus is still visible. Centrioles have replicated in preparation for forming the spindle fibres. In prophase, you can see that now the centrioles have started to move to the poles of the cell. Spindle fibres have started to form and the nuclear membrane has started to break down. But the clearest indication that we're in prophase is that the chromosomes have condensed and they've become visible. And you can clearly see that they are now uh, made up of two sister chromatids held by a centromere. The spindle fibres are now attached to the centromeres of each chromosome and this pulls the chromosomes to the equator of the cell. So they're now lined up in the middle of the cell. In anaphase, the centromere is now split and the spindle fibres contract. This pulls the sister chromatids apart and the chromatids, which are now known as chromosomes, move to opposite poles of the cell. In telophase, the chromosomes will reach the opposite poles of the cell, the spindle fibres will break down and the nuclear membrane reforms. Finally, in cytokinesis, the plasma membrane will pinch in to form two genetically identical cells. And that's it for mitosis. So what can they ask you? Well, the first thing is you've got to know mitosis. So the knowledge would explain the examiners would expect you to be able to recognise the stages of mitosis from diagrams and photographs and to be also able to describe what's happening in terms of what's happening to the chromatids, what's happening to the spindle and what's happening to the nuclear envelope. For the higher grades they'd expect you to be able to apply this knowledge to different situations. For example they would expect you to understand that the amount of DNA chain in a cell changes during a cell cycle, that the amount of DNA will double during late interphase and it won't go back to the normal level until at the end of mitosis or cytokinesis. They would expect you to be able to interpret data about the distance between the different chromatids, the sister chromatids, and the poles of the cell. They would expect you to be able to calculate the mitotic index and also to understand that rapidly dividing cells, such as cancer cells, have a much shorter interphase. Finally, Remember the stages, PMAT.